Greetings fellow YouTubers, this is the Budget Armory Channel with yet another exciting video for your viewing pleasure. Well, let's say you've loaded a bunch of your 223 or 5.56 millimeter like I've done, but then you realize you've made a mistake, just like I have. There were a series of cases that I forgot to trim. Now, the problem with that, and especially in a semi-automatic rifle, is that uh, the chambers are actually obviously a specific size, and your maximum case length of 1.760 inches is there for a reason. These are topping out about 1.7, almost 80 inches, which means they're getting, they'll get stuck in the chamber, I know, because I tried. So I have to take apart about, well, probably not about 50, but was about 70 of these guys and uh, trim them and put them back together. So I'll show you how that's gonna happen. Okay, the first thing we're gonna need is our kinetic bullet puller, this funny looking hammer guy. And the way it works is this, you are given a different size of, I don't know what these things are called, uh, case holder thingies, and they're held together by this black rubber band. And so what happens is when you stick the case through, it expands, holds the case in place, and then you put this into the hole in the back of the hammer, you take the back end and you screw it. Now if you notice, I've got electrical tape on the back because it's just an open hole, and uh, when the bullet comes apart, the powder will fly out, which we don't want. So go ahead and show you how this is done. Just let me get a close-up of this. So don't worry about how hard you hit the hammer because it's meant to be hit hard. So took three whacks. Can you hear it in there? Okay. So now what we have to do is we have to slowly and carefully get rid of the uh, pour, pour out the powder and the bullet because we're going to reuse them. Okay, remember our buddy Mr. Scale? Well, he's going to come back in handy again. So, like I said, really carefully, I'm going to unscrew the top here and get as much of that powder there as possible. Probably going to spill be a few grains in there, but we'll get that in a second. So then, make sure the case doesn't have any more powder in it. Then, really carefully, oops, I don't have any fingernails, so this may be a little difficult. Take the bullet out, make sure you don't take the powder with you. Pour the rest of the powder in there. We'll see how many grains we got. It's showing me 40, sorry, 24.4. Like I said, there's a bunch more powder in here, so let me tap it out. And we'll see that I still have retained my 25.3 grains, which is good because I'm going to need every single bit of it. So now we're going to trim the case, which you've seen, but I'll go ahead and show it to you again. Okay, now we have to decap the case or remove the primer. Uh, same procedure. I'm going to use my collet neck sizing die so I don't have to use any lube. It's not a folding three size, but the collet neck sizing die also has a decapping step. So the primer went, flew that little hole. So now I can resize the case. And the procedure is very simple. Once again, you put it in the cutter, you have the cutter lock stud, you lock it in place. Let me see if I can get you a nice close up here. Put your ball cutter in. See all the material that came off? So now the case has been resized, now I have to deburr it. Okay, now we're going to take our handy dandy uh, chamfer tool or deburring tool. So again, we're going to take that nice little burr out. It's going to take a little while because I took a lot of material off that one. So you want to make sure you don't have a shelf anymore that is completely smooth. When you run your finger over, ooh, there's a little bit. There we go. Don't forget to get the inside also. There. Okay, now this case is be ready to be reprimed. I will reclaim the primer that I, uh, I, I took out because it's still good. But in the meantime, I went ahead and filled my auto prime tool with primers. I'm going to go ahead and reprime this case. Ta da! And just like before. Take my powder, take my funnel, pour the powder in, and then, oops, these are the ones I've already done. Put my bullet back in. I'm going to be ready for seating when I get done with this row. So that's pretty much it. If you've made a mistake like I have, don't be afraid to go ahead and go back and do them again because if the cases are too long, it will affect the functioning of your rifle. And one of the ways I, I kind of discovered it is because I could not see the uh, 
what do you call it, the cantalore on the bullet. See, here's a properly, properly length case. You can see right at the case mouth, the cantalore of the bullet. Let me, sh let, me sh let me show you an actual unseated bullet to show you what I mean. That ring, come on, focus. Focus for me. That ring around the bullet, I don't know if it's going to do it or not, is that's the cantalore. And uh, you should be able to see it when you size, when you uh, seat your bullet. And I couldn't, and I was checking the, the length to see if I had uh, just stuffed the bullet in there too long. And new, I forgot to trim these cases, so that's why you can't even see the cantalore there at all. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do all the rest of these, and hopefully uh, I won't have any more problems. But, when you reload, you're going to make mistakes. But the nice thing is that you can go back and correct your mistakes before you actually shoot it. So, it's always good to make sure you follow all the steps. Unlike I did. I was just in my youthful exuberance, which is not so youthful anymore. Apparently, I forgot to do that. So, oh, one other thing. The difference between uh, the number 41 primers in this case for 5.56 ammunition as opposed to the small rifle, pri rifle primers, because this is the exact same size. These are formulated specifically for semi-automatic rifles, uh, and it's, uh, they're built to avoid slam fires. So, I don't know if the primer is a little harder or what the deal is, but uh, it's a really good thing to have in a semi-automatic rifle. And at the last gun show, which was just this past weekend, I didn't buy anything because uh, I didn't really expect to find anything there. But uh, they did have these on sale for uh, like 30 bucks. So, next time I see some, I might pick some up. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the accident and the mistake. But uh, hey, just like everything else, hope to learn from it. Alright, thanks a lot.